reference angles. All right, so reference angles are going to be help us a lot when trying to evaluate trigonometric functions. So it's really important for us to understand exactly what reference angles are. And what reference angles are is when given an angle that's in standard form. Remember, we have standard form is we're going to have a, an initial side and then a terminal side. When we have an angle that is in standard form, we have angle, here's our theta. Our reference angle is going to be the acute angle from our terminal side of our angle, terminal side, initial side. It's going to be the acute angle from our terminal side to our horizontal axis, which in this case is going to be our x-axis. So there's a couple reference angles that we have. Here's a reference angle for an angle in the second quadrant. Here is an angle that's going to be, or here is a reference angle for an angle in the third quadrant. So there's your angle, initial side, terminal side. So the acute angle from our terminal side to our horizontal axis, well, we could have this angle from the terminal side go to here and here. But remember it said acute angle, so therefore this is going to be our reference angle. And then we also have a reference angle for the fourth quadrant. Now before I go to the fourth quadrant, let's say if I did the first quadrant. Well, if I do an angle in the first quadrant, my reference angle is going to be that exact same angle, since any angle in the first quadrant is already going to be acute. So if I have an angle in the fourth quadrant, there's my angle in the fourth quadrant. Well, then the acute angle from my terminal side to my horizontal axis is going to be right there. So there's a couple important things to recognize when dealing with uh, reference angles. One, our reference angles cannot be negative. It says an acute angle. That means the angle has to be between 0 and 90 degrees. So if when doing the mathematics you come up with a negative angle, just understand that's negative direction. And your acute angle is always going to be positive. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to give you a little idea of now how to evaluate for these angles or how do you evaluate to find exactly what your reference angle is. So I'm going to go through each one of these mathematically, and then I'll give you an equation that you can kind of follow. So if you remember, from here to here, let's say it's an angle. I don't know what that angle is. But all, the only thing I do know is from here to all the way around here, so my angle plus my other angle are going to add up to either one, or add up to 180 or pi. So therefore, I can write an equation. I can say theta plus theta prime equals 360 degrees or pi, right? So therefore, I can draw two different equations from here. To find my theta prime, I could say theta prime, or my reference angle, is going to equal 360, oops, 360. What am I doing? That's not 360, it's 180, right? From here to here, it's 180 degrees. Sorry about that. So. My theta prime is going to equal 180 degrees minus theta. Or I could say theta prime equals pi minus theta. And this is all going to depend on which equation you use. That's all going to depend on what are your angles in. Are they in degrees or are they in radians? So obviously, you're going to use each equation depending on what your given angle is to find your reference angle in the, in the uh, uh, measurement that you need. So for here, what we could say is theta, right, which is um, from right here. So you can say this is actually greater than 180. So what about you, if you notice, this distance right here is really, if I took theta and I subtracted just this portion of theta, this portion of theta is 180. But if I take 180 and subtract it from this angle, I'll just be left with this extra mark, which is the same thing as theta prime. So therefore, here I can say theta prime is going to equal theta minus 180. Or you could say theta prime equals theta minus pi. Again, depending if we're dealing with degrees or, th or in radians. Now the last one, we could say this last one is very similar to our first quadrant, where we notice that theta, theta plus theta prime, that just looks bad, equals 360 degrees or 2 pi. So therefore, if I just subtract, 
If I take 360 degrees and I subtract theta, I'm just going to be left with theta prime. So here I can say theta prime is going to equal 360 degrees minus theta. Or you could say theta prime equals 360 degrees minus 360 degrees minus uh, 2 pi. No, there's 2 pi. Jeez, sorry. 2 pi minus theta. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's just a kind of a, uh, a quick little definition. Obviously, reference angle, if it was in the first quadrant, it would be the exact same as its regular angle. But remember, reference angles are always acute angles between your terminal side and your horizontal axis. They cannot be negative. And here's some of your equations that you can do to follow to find your reference angles. Thanks.